Welcome to Truth Be Told, the podcast about how individuals live their true and authentic lives. Today, I got a special guest with me. Years ago, I got in the best shape of my life. And it's actually because of this man. Everyone, I want you to welcome the one and only Justin Ng. Justin, welcome. It's going to be a great day. TGIS, thank God Sunday. Thank God <laughs> it's Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. You know what? I remember when we, uh, we met actually, and you had like this incredible amount of energy. And I can just still remember just this idea. Just come on, let's go. With this. You know what time it is? It's, it's showtime. Show time. <laughs> Actually, wait a second. I think we met other 20, hang on a sec, 2011, just before my catchphrase was born. Really? Yes. My catchphrase was born in 2012. I remember now. I remember now because um, I was uh, just fishing off my first uh, ever competition, bodybuilding competition. Yeah. And I remember <laughs> I showed you pictures. I can't believe it. it's hilarious. I showed you pictures of my uh, competition, and your uh, reaction was like, "Wow, whoa, pretty cool." <laughs> and then that was just months after, so 2011. Yes, it's 2011. I first met you 11, oh. 11 years ago. Holy smokes! Because you know what? I actually remember that it was around the time where I had just started to grow dreadlocks. Like it was, and by the way, for those of you, yeah, uh, uh, viewers, yeah, imagine uh, that like me with lo longer hair. You know, you remember uh, that like years ago, like I actually I, I made that drastic change. I no longer have that uh, uh, the, the dreads. Uh, can you believe that years ago, like it got to the point where my hair actually reached that far? <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was yeah. pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I even bought in some old memorabilia. Remember what? the phone? You still have it? Yes. Oh, what? Yeah. I oh, whoa. Not to mention. <laughs> oh my God! The body fat scan. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I. I am. Wow. This is amazing. I did not expect that. That is holy crap. Awesome. Yeah, from when you were at the St. Albert location. Yeah. Wow. That was my good old writing. And of course, that program was 11 years ago. So uh, your body has, has adapted and a lot has changed. So, I mean, you still use that program. It's going to be different from compared to today's uh, uh, strengths and what you got right now is so very different. <laughs> yeah. And wow. I actually am yeah, and looking at this this I'm thinking oh wait I like I have somehow like close to this is what I have to get back to. You know? <laughs> and because because now I'm talking also to my person uh, to uh, the, the man that got me in shape and then things went south because it was up to rough times but man I have to ask you like uh, going to back to you uh, you know like you gotta you know, tell me like uh, like what got you started into you know, like being a personal trainer? Uh, yeah, I don't mind sharing that. It's going to be a pretty cool story. Everyone's got different journeys, and mine started, uh, I say, after, well, high school. Me and my classmates started working out at the high school gym that we 
they have. And yeah, that's not the initial, but uh, I want to get big like every teenager wants to pursue. And yeah. after high school, got my my first gym membership. Um, didn't have the cash to hire a personal trainer. Kind of did everything that book says or kind of copying cat every big guy does. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, months later, realized not working. And then uh, I was at Nate's college taking computer science and it was my was it my first semester i think it was uh, my yeah it was my first semester um i was i was using the nate gym a lot no sorry it was semester two. no it was it was for semester yeah yeah i was using the gym a lot and the nate gym and it was doing everything wrong and at the, the front desk they have a, a little uh, uh, brochure with it says Nate students, personal trainers wants to um, hire train other students as a uh, practicum. I figured free training, heck yeah, <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, and then uh, it's funny though because I was a little bit uh, uh, disappointed. I got a female trainer. I was like, man, what does she know about getting size? Oh, He's like, hey. <laughs> yeah, that big mistake, right? Big mistake. Sometimes it's just like, no, 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 no. Do not underestimate that. that. Like, just never throw that bias in there. In fact, I'll tell you uh, right now, it's like, I would love to have a male personal no, trainer. In fact, get me a, uh, uh, this might be a, a crazy, but get me a 50 year old uh, female personal no, no, trainer because you know what? They, uh, if uh, if she's that at that age at that time and she's got the perfect technique, that's right there. And I'm really hope that I'm really hoping that doesn't sound like I'm some sound like misogynist thing, but it's, you know it's just I'm you know just saying that don't discriminate, you know, right? I agree, I agree, and that was me back then. Was it early twenties? Yeah, and then, and guess what, Pierre? I she got me to do a chest press. Single dumbbell stability ball, and the first set. How is this working? The abs. How the <laughs> and next thing you know, I was sore next day. To my surprise, yeah. I didn't. And then I remember that day, or next day, or no, sorry, next time I saw her, mm-hmm. I don't know, like. Do we do any ab crunches? Ain't like that. She was nope. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The, oh. <laughs> the other, <laughs> I can kind of relate because I once did yoga at at the World Health, and the instructor came in, and it was um some the, the person that was probably in their like uh, in their no sixties, the person comes in. No, they have like the, the silver the hair, and then at one point, you know, they're, uh, the the instructor lies on their back, and then and then puts their toes behind their heads. I'm thinking, oh, I was wrong. Oh, <laughs> at sixty, they could do that. I can, I'm 24, I can barely reach my toes. <laughs> so I'm stupid. They, oh. got, <laughs> they got skills that kills. <laughs> yeah. So it just goes to show, it's just like out in the, sometimes when you, you know, just net always, you know, when it comes to fitness, Always, <laughs> yeah, just never 
underestimate who the fitness person is. True that. <laughs> so crazy, eh? Yeah, you just never know. Based on uh-huh. never judge the book by its cover. <laughs> yeah. And then just, just going back to how that uh, how the how that how you were so sore, you know, like you that's when you the next phase of what, uh, what was that like? <laughs> it was crazy. It was <laughs> And then I read, that's when I uh, realized, and at the same time, the next semester, computer science, that's what I was taking. Um, it was, okay, I was still into the fitness, like, this is this is better and funner. And is my third, is it my third semester? Is it third? My, no. You know what? Yeah, it's my third semester. Things got harder. Computer science at Nate. It was like holy smokes. It was, it was like a full time job and sitting at a computer desk, sedentary. <laughs> it, it was uh, not fun. My eyes getting tired from staring at the screen for mm-hmm. X number of minutes and hours. It was crazy. And then, um, guess what? My fourth semester, uh-huh. two weeks into computer science, I dropped out. And I'm like, you know what? I pulled a shark tank. For that reason, I'm out. <laughs> uh, I understand. You needed something that was fulfilling. And it's just when you got into, when you, I mean, yes, you got into being a personal trainer and there was just like, whoa, this is like, you know different and fun <laughs> yeah that's, you know, that's pretty cool believe it or not like when uh there was the time when i actually pictured the uh, no with you this energy that uh, you had i could imagine kind of this sports montage where we're trying to do a a, a kind of a, a video a promo set to a James Brown <laughs> song. Well, why not? You know, I think of, uh, you know why James Brown, hardest working man in showbiz. You know, uh, think of it. You know, a uh, James Brown. Uh, 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 Nick. One of James Brown nickname is Mister Dynamite. And you are Mr. Showtime. You know it. <laughs> and, you know, the song would be, you know, get up off of that thing, you know, you know, and <laughs> and it would be just like all of these amazing shots. Like one uh, would be like just one intense, you know, like the medicine ball where, you know, it's just like, uh, uh, where <laughs> it just you know, shows like the uh, intense close up of me, you know, like throwing the ball and, you know, like you know, like okay, go ahead, like get me some, get me some. <laughs> uh, like all right, everybody, now, this is my client Pierre. We're gonna do this high light during our training. Everyone, are you ready? Are you ready? It's showtime. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot that right. I like that. Yeah. Oh my god, it would be. Uh, it would just be so much fun and and also uh, and i couldn't imagine and also just for what you've done though thank you thank you you're so, so welcome but i i i miss this the all these sessions that oh, we've had um but you know what i have to call you out on this interesting uh, things uh, though because you're also a bit of a daredevil (laughs) yeah yes you seriously like the food challenges that you take on like the (laughs) the 
it was it was it with um miss saigon oh yeah you are correct yep <laughs> um that the uh but at the, the at the same time part of me is just thinking you are a uh, you're a daredevil and part of me is thinking okay there's actually some pretty good uh, uh, places where you eat at. <laughs> it's just like, wait, this is an Ed an Edmonton. Uh, let me Google that place. And <laughs> oh, this is a local restaurant in Edmonton. Let me try it out. You're um, you love checking out your restaurants, don't you? I certainly do. Mm. Yeah, those and, restaurants. Oh, go ahead, Joey. <laughs> Yeah, like it's almost like you gotta, you know, like just like just do do this and just like what do I need to do to accomplish that goal? Attitude. Ah, yeah. uh, you mean like finishing the challenge? Yeah, like really, you know, it's just like that. Okay, this is the challenge. What do I need to, to do to make it happen? Well, there's a go find that goal, and then you work backwards. Work backwards from there, and you, you kind of pinpoint. Okay, what's the time frame? How much do I have to devour? <laughs> it's going to be a, a liquid or a heavy metal or a heavy food type or soft type. In this case here, uh, it was it was uh, I say soft, but. Uh, it was um yeah strategically planned out so in this one i had to chew bubble gum hours prior so my jaws get tired yeah i chew bubble gums for a number of hours to get my stomach or get my uh, jaw muscles uh stretched out because all that constant chewing it would be tired so you, you chew bubble gum to give it some cardio <laughs> for yeah. the muscles around there and then uh, um always try to stand up when you're eating as opposed to sitting down because you sit down you're gonna squish your intestines and uh and all that feelings and last one workout prior yeah. well in speaking of action plan you remember also this quote you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, Jim Rohn. Yeah. That's a huge one. That's it's so true. It's, it's, there's no doubt about that. That's for sure. Hmm. It's, uh, well, if a person, um, the smoker, can tell that two or three of that person's closest friends are smokers, if the person is a party goer, the same thing goes there. It's a if a person an athlete, chances are, two to three of his or her friends are athletes too. Crazy, eh? Yeah. Um. Oh, it's true. You know, it's kind of like my <laughs> with my uh, my uh, my brother, like a bunch of his friends. You know, they uh, they will know. And loves the sport. Like they will talk about it a bunch. And for example, like they will, they could go on and on and on about a well, no, They'll break down stats and about like uh, which uh, who has been signed on as you know like a free agent in uh, in the NFL. And he could break down uh, like oh, so much information about like what in which uh, upcoming uh, game for Sunday, oh. Sunday night football, Monday night football, Thursday night football, and I actually regret not knowing as much about football. And yeah, wow, he's uh, a true sports fan. <laughs> yeah, I think. Like in that quote, also you have to also 
it teaches you how to to uh, to be also yourself too, right? Because the one of the uh, 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 most critical uh, life lessons is also about being you know, yourself. Do you find that you have that you somehow find these three things like you have like a mission, a value, a purpose in uh, in life? That's a really good thought and thank you and great question and i do uh over half of years ago you gotta have those three you gotta have at least one of those to have a purpose in life otherwise your life is gonna be boring <laughs> yeah <laughs> so my mission is to uh add value to uh, every individual that i meet to the best way and shape i can and uh help them to be the best or even better version themselves and uh the next one is uh purpose so yes live on purpose with intentions you know am I, am I purpose wake up am I purpose to uh head down to the grocery grocery store to get uh Greek yogurt I don't feel like it but I have to I want to <laughs> so I look good <laughs> I want to look good I want to uh increase my protein intake so you gotta have a purpose to get there and then uh, the third one is uh was it values Pierre Third one is values. Yeah, said so, uh, mission, uh, values, and purpose in life. Oh, okay, yes. So I guess in my case here, values. How can I add value to you? How can I add value to others? Mm -hmm. So right now, mm -hmm. I was able to add value to you. Uh, not only be on this awesome uh, reconnection of a podcast, but also many years ago, to uh, to, to enhance your performance and. Uh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just uh, baffling how you're taking on these challenges. Some challenges that are just so big, like just you know, like for example, that food and a challenge. You know that's uh, that's a great one. But there are also even like uh, fitness uh, ones. And you know, speaking of fitness, are you still uh, doing uh, the body building contests uh my last one was 2017 late 2017 yeah i wanted to do another one 2020 but of course everything shut down oh my um, god yeah. yeah i wanted to and then lost uh like everyone else lost muscle uh i gave you some uh oompa loompa stomach area torso okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh i'm hoping to do one this well, it's on what it's today is the 25th September, so I'm hoping uh, it's a, it's debatable, it's, it's only 50 50 yeah. in Vancouver in uh, on November. So I got just over a month to uh prep for that one. <laughs> oh, that's that pandemic that was the something else. I actually, I actually tried to. Try to go back to the gym a few years. Actually, last um, like April twenty twenty one, you know, like when things were kind of op reopening, and then just as I was about to go to the gym, then I get a phone call saying, "Actually, we have to cancel your time slot to go to the to go to the gym." One of the associates tested positive, and so, and it was actually like the day before I had gone to the gym to register and sign up for a membership. Oh, it was just like, and my mom was at panic. It was just like, oh my god, did I test? Could I? Did I perhaps like test positive? Oh my god! But that. That um for like fitness, that the pandemic just just shook the, the fitness world upside down. Even like actually for for health, uh, for mental health uh, was the biggest impact. Another struggle, so I'm, and I'm guilty of it too. Um, food. <laughs> uh, 
Food is uh, yeah. one third. One third of your goals is uh, is food, proper e habits, mm-hmm. and sleep. <laughs> Devouring a five pound burger, <laughs> and then uh, the next one third is uh, the proper routine, and the next uh, one third is a big one. Ready for it? Determination. Mm-hmm. Once you add those three. One third plus one third plus one third, yeah. boom, hundred percent. Now when I say when I say determination, it's like okay, it's it's minus three upsides. Winter is Sunday, and my determined to go to the gym. You know, should I should I not? I told one person, a client, I said, if you just go do your do your uh, routine, mm-hmm. and then just go home. Reward reward yourself with Netflix, <laughs> and then uh, my determination was I went to the movies with my friend, and we were determined. We were standing in line to get just a popcorn and water. That's it. Oh. And then and then we were standing in line. She looks to her left, and there's a shelf full of like scores, Skittles, M M&M and M candies, you name it, right. No. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just look straight. Ignore that. Determin- yeah. Determination. Okay. Let's fo- stay on focus. And then the two two guys in front of us, um, they pay their food. They turn around, walk by us, and we smell nacho cheese, hot dogs. Is it, is it, is it fries? <laughs> and, uh, anyway, there's hot dogs something. Anyway, the smell got us. The smell went to our noses. Mm-hmm. Our noses went to our brains. I think it's called cerebellum, the brain. And mm-hmm. sh- showering, dopamine, and saying, must get that. Go get that. You deserve it. And then we, we, me and my friend realized, okay, yeah. determination. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Determination. Determined. And then guess we ordered a large popcorn. Uh butter <laughs> and then we had water that's yeah. all we had and then by the time we uh finished the movie i said good job yeah it was not bad eh no that was, that was yeah that was <laughs> and also it sounds also lessons you've learned through your as an entrepreneur too right that is correct yeah because yeah, aren't you an entrepreneur as well yes not easy but lots of things to learn from there having uh business mentors about who's who's been there done that excelled at it and want to teach it want to take time away from their uh uh spouses or kids and able to uh yeah. lift you up it's pretty cool yeah. okay. and want to uh uh not just help you but also equip you uplift you and able to make you better so is that as our conversation earlier um being surrounded by five people or or whatnot but also be surrounded by people who is better than you and want to teach you and all those kind of things so if you're the smartest guy on your pack <laughs> you gotta move on <laughs> or Absolutely. what does uh, living your truth mean to you? Um, being authentic, you know, not lying to yourself. Yes. Not, uh, now, oh gosh, me and my uh, partner, business partner, hatch up about this. Um, oh gosh, it's been, it's been a long time. We had a high conversation um stop on yourself i'm not sure how it started okay i guess here's one example you know living let's say you're living let's say you're living on a budget and then and then uh going to a grocery store living on a budget then you realize okay i'm going to eat out i'm going to eat out and then uh you lose track of your budget because you know how you eat out it costs more right mm-hmm. and um, next thing you know, it's like, oh, I'm lying to myself. I just said to myself, I'm going to 
the lame vacation and um, save my budget on food. But here I am going to uh, a fast food restaurant or a, a fancy restaurant with the boys. So who's, uh, whose fault is that? Not the boys. They, they got me invited to join them. But all the decisions is on moi, on yeah. that individual. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a, that's my example right there. Yeah. So how does, how has living your, uh, how does living your truth and being authentic uh, made you a better person? Well, I know that uh, personal growth development is, on the rise, it's better. Um, there's still room to grow, that's for sure. I still have a lot to learn and, and to improve myself and, and expand others, help others to excel what they want. Uh, at the same time, it's uh, definitely not an easy journey, that's for sure. Yeah, so that one is going to be uh, still working on it, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and of course, last question: uh, What advice would you give to someone looking to um, embrace themselves? To embrace themselves, like uh, as a I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask, answer that question. The question: <laughs> <laughs> Embrace themselves, as in like living better, or living uh, or like to, to be... learn to. Uh, love who they are. It's like good old saying. I keep, I keep hearing the words "be themselves," but uh, the way I see it, it's old school. I say uh, by my by a by a book, you know, by the audio I was listening to by John Maxwell. Uh, keep on practicing, practice whatever it is, and. There's no such thing as practice makes perfect. That's a that's a lie. I grew up with that slogan, and <laughs> it's not true because it's never perfect. However, he did mention that uh, practice makes improvement. That's a huge one, and yes, that is true because there is room to to make little adjustments here and here, but there's never ever going to be that precise perfection that uh, a person can attain. Uh, pra wow practice makes improvement correct that's an, that's an interesting take i love that when late uh, ladies uh, gentlemen listeners around the world just in the aim and uh for those who of you who are looking to uh, get in shape where can we find you you can find me on, let's see here. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a good question. Around the world, in this world, I guess uh, my Instagram page. That's probably a good start. <laughs> yeah. Which is, uh, I got a couple actually. Uh, the first one is uh, Mr. Showtime, which is spelled M I S T E R underscore showtime or the other one is pay it forward which is uh, pay underscore it underscore forward oh underscore yag i like to give it uh, i like to pay it for to others because it's better to to give than to receive and that's that's uh that's a huge difference maker right there to give more than to receive all right. Justin, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure. Likewise, I'm here, Pierre. Until then, it's showtime. It's showtime. <laughs> thank you uh, much for, uh, for listening. Uh, to take care of yourselves, everyone. And remember to stay true. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and like and you'll keep up to date with the content on my channel.